Please remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. And use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now at 403. NASDAQ up 194. S&P's up 47. Gold contract down 540. Trading at 17.56 an ounce. We have silver up 7 cents, $22.61 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck. $78.48 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 10 ticks, trading 131.12. The 30-year off a full point, plus 2 ticks at 158.13. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 51 ticks, trading 94.215. Euro out here at 115. The yen is at 111. And the British pound's at 136 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a nice close, folks, okay? We'll see where this baby goes. We'll tell us where we will probably go tomorrow morning. And we're going to start with the SPY. So what the SPY has done is this, folks, okay? We had a big gap up this morning, so they, they pushed the futures up overnight. Nice move. You get a huge contraction of volume. You know, yesterday, you know, you, you basically went up with uh, 313 Million shares, and you have 53 million. So check that out. Now watch what, what happened. We got over the high that was generated uh, on the down day of the uh, 28th of October, of no, uh, September, rather. And that price you want to watch coming into the close is $440.04. Right now we're underneath it. And if we close underneath it there, what that's going to set up is a failure on price and a failure on volume. You get over the high, you close underneath it, you're already in a downtrend. And you have a monster contraction of volume. That's in your SPY. NDX 100, the three Qs. Now, this is what is going on in the three Qs also, which is pretty cool. It's, it, the, the Qs are showing just how weak it is. So the SPY got over the trading day of the 28th. The Qs didn't even get close to it. <laughs> the, 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 the high of the, the 28th is 370, and the Qs made it to 365.69. Now, the benchmark on the Qs is going to be 363.37. The reason for that is that, guess what? When you just go over any, any trading vehicle, any trading bar, rather, you close underneath it, particularly on, you know, with a huge contraction, which we have, that would be a failure. Right now, you're at 364.09. We've done 30 million shares versus 58 million. So we'll probably do about 40, 45 million shares. We'll see if that, if that in fact, gets harmony, meaning that closes underneath the 367, 363, 37. The SPY closes under 440.04. That'll be saying that whatever jobs number comes out this morning, market will go south. Gold. Gold contract out here. Sideways move out here today. You got light volume inside the gold market. Um, 1.3 million contracts traded out here. Um, not, much, not, not much happening there. That being said, XAU, HUI, they've been buying these goals for the past five or six days, folks. Uh, they're, they're off the bottom. You had the XAU as well as the HUI. Uh, in both cases, they both broke the downtrend today. Uh, you can see it quite clearly. The XAU, you're up a buck 84, and you can make the case that now it wants to run to 146, and you're at 123. We go take a look at the gold bugs index, the HUI, same type of setup in the HUI. HUI right now is up a buck eighty-six. And on the HUI, I would I'd like to see a bigger bar, that's for sure. Well actually, I might have broken it yesterday too. Let me look at this thing again. Okay, so get this baby up. Let's put yeah, I want to put this volume underneath it too. Okay, cool. So and the gold bugs index, yeah, it's cool. Actually, we broke it yesterday. That's good. The gold bugs index here, 239. It's saying, hey, man, uh, 281 is game. That's how this baby's shaking out. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What you have in the note and bond market is that you're down, but you're down with tremendously lighter volume. That's telling me also that we're going to have a problem tomorrow with the uh, jobs number. Because if if... If we have a problem with the jobs number, market sells off, you'll see note and bonds go higher once again. 
We're coming to the lower end of the consolidation uh, after you know the note and bond market went down the last two weeks. That number is the 13107. We've hit 131.12. Now, the last time we were down, there were 2.4 million contracts. We're only at 1.2. You can see that the, the contraction of volume is absolutely huge. We go, that's in the 10-year. We go take a look at the 30-year. 30-year right now, you are testing the lows of yesterday. The 30-year has 300,000 contracts. And yesterday, we did 480. It got under the low where we had 572. Well, that's going to be interesting watching this baby shake out. 158.23. Low of yesterday's 158.06. You're in a lower range now on the 30, though. This is going to be interesting. Let me go pull up the TLT. Okay, so the TLT is the 20 year plus. And what the 20 year plus means specifically, folks, is that you have bonds that most of them are 30 year bonds and they have 20 year left on them. Uh, okay, so the TLT is breaking low with tremendously light of volume. Yeah, we're going up, man. So you, you don't have any sellers here. You, you, you gap lower at 172. You're at 142.67. This can get into 141.64. That's where the strength is. But guess what? When you don't, when you don't have sellers, and, and in fact, look at this, man. Oh, this is interesting. So when we went topside on Monday and two, uh, Friday and Monday, you had volume behind that move on the way up. Yeah, this, is, this, this can pull back to strength. But I suspect we're still going to go higher. 140, 141.64 would be the number there. If we go take a look at the 10-year, the 10-year right now is yielding 1.57. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this market out here. What we have, you have Ford. Uh, Ford's getting a bid. That's up 81 cents. Advanced Micro up by 318. Uh, Freeport Mac Moran's up 274. We get uh, General Motors. Look at that, up 258. Uh, NVIDIA up 480. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.